Archelon and Diego Navarro's beloved weapon Fenrir were ripped by explosions and engulfed in flames. While these images flashed on the screen, the eyes of the press watched as the enraged citizens of Laysath stormed in on commanding officer Diego Navarro. When the rage of the thousands had finally subsided, it is said that there was nothing left but the shattered remains of Fenrir. It's ironic that the stage for the unveiling of his greatest triumph would be his ultimate undoing. When it was all over, I tried to get an interview with the Southern Cross, only to find that he had already returned to Cape Aubrey. He said he's never really liked hot weather. Eugene Solano, the young radio operator, answered sheepishly. Peace had returned to Griswold, and it was now covered in the colors of the Christmas season. I went ahead and bought myself a figure of Santa, the kind that I could only find here. Albert, I thought you couldn't stand the Southern Hemisphere. A fellow reporter said to me as he saw the Santa figure, a memento of this Southern Hemisphere of backward seasons. I like the design, I said as I embarrassingly showed it to him. It bore the emblem of the Southern Cross. <laughs>